get rid of the no ball game signs, give young people a say in housing developments and offer them all 100 hours of work experience. Just a few of the suggestions from a new report for Islington Council launched this morning in their bid to put children at the heart of decision making in the borough. Here's our political correspondent, Carl Mercer. At 14, Kedji can hold a tune, performing for political leaders today, but should she also be telling them what she wants her local area to look like? A local council thinks people like Kedji should be more involved. A report it commissioned recommended all under 18 should get 100 hours of work experience, that things like no ball game signs should be taken down, and that young people should be consulted on big building projects in their area. How are you going to get it so we have the 100 hours of work experience? Will we be given it in school or will we have to go out and find it? Will you put pressure on schools in order for them to teach during lessons and during school time on how to manage their money, understanding the political system? What actions do you expect for local organisations to take so that the Islington guarantee for young people is put into place? I'd like to know how you plan to make use of spaces around the Islington community. The report author, the voice winner and former pupil here, Jermaine Jackman, says he hopes there will be action and not just words. It's happened time and time again where people come into a community, want to do something and then they go. And I said, you know what, this is not a PR ploy. We're not going to use this to try and win votes or anything. We want to really make change in our community. We want to involve children and young people in the process. And I, everyone knows how difficult I am. I told the council, I told people, I made a promise to everyone that I'm serious about this. I think there's going to be a bit of a row when we suggest to people that we need to take down the no ball signs, but it's a row worth having because we need to say to young people that this borough, this city belongs to them and it's about their future and we need to put ourselves firmly on their side. The words are done, the song has been sung. The hardest part, delivering on those promises, is yet to come. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.